right, y'all. What is going on? It's Black Balloon. And we're coming back with another video. So y'all already know what's going on. Now, look, I wanted to get to this topic like two days ago, but I really didn't have the time. I felt a need to talk about this one because it represents something that's going on that's very common these days, right? And what that is is how basically the culture is becoming like a murder culture. It's becoming, it's almost becoming cool in a sense. And y'all know me, I've already talked about this. I've talked about drill. I've talked about what it does to the kids. I've talked about the New York drill, Chicago drill, you know. I've already spoken on a lot of this stuff, and it kind of goes right back to the situation with BTB Savage. You know, nobody really knew the background of this dude, BTB Savage. Nobody really knew him like that, unless you were like a fan of underground, you know, underground rap, and you already knew who he was. So, you know, you can't really speculate on what he actually had going on in the streets or whatever. But as the story went on Vlad TV when he was on Vlad, you know, the guy tried to rob him. There was no beef with this dude. He didn't even know who the dude was. So some random dude, you know, who was just looking for a quick come up, brought that evil energy on him. And he had to do what he had to do, which is, you know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, somebody tried to come in your house, point a gun at you and your girl. When your kid is there, you got to do what you got to do. One, he should have never had him over in the first place because the kid was in the house. So you should never do any kind of business at home with your kid in the house. That's just that's just that at the end of the day. You know, he should have he should have been wise enough to know that. His spirit was already already telling him that it was 10. If you listen to the interview, he was like, I don't know if I want to do it because it's 10, 11 o'clock. His spirit was already telling him don't do it. He didn't listen because he said he wanted the quick money. So we already know at the end of the day, you know, that money be the root of all evil. Dude was robbing him for money. He was trying to do a quick verse for money. So that's already a lesson for us to learn, you know, right there. Listen to your gut. Listen to your spirit. It already tell you what's going on before something is about to happen. It's telling you what you should do. He literally just, if y'all ain't listened to the interview, go listen to it. He told himself, he said, I shouldn't do it. It's already late, but he was like, shit, he was like, he was like, forget it. I'm going to go ahead and just do the verse, knock it out real quick. And that's one thing about, you know, growing older, growing wiser, having discernment is starting to understand how and when to listen to your gut. That's that's almost it's almost a blessing to be able to do that. I don't even know if it would be called a skill because, you know, it's something you learn to do, but it's something you have to feel. You have to feel and understand and know when to be able to listen to your gut. Your instinct, your intuition, you know, whatever you want to call it, your spirit is going to tell you what's going on. When you come around people, anything, you know, he just he he decided too late because when they got there, you know, and the dude, the dude he was supposed to be doing the verse with walked outside and left the dude who robbed him in there. He locked the door. So some was telling him some was fishy, but it was too late already. You know what I'm saying? So. Now, this picture, him, him, him standing in his apartment around a bunch of blood, bullet holes in the door, basically doing this for the Internet to get, you know, more clout to kind of be, you know, have more cred off of the shit that happened. In a sense, mocking the dude that robbed him. Now, this is not all, I'm pretty sure this is not all of the other guy's blood. It's probably some of his blood as well because he got shot in the elbow. But the thing is, what people don't uh, seem to realize, I can guarantee you if a person that had nothing to do with this situation, even maybe him, if you walk in this apartment with all that blood, you will feel the demonic energy. You will feel the evil energy. Because we already know blood carries energy. We know blood is used as a portal. In rituals, you know, y'all know that, um, what's her name, Abramovich and stuff like that, when they do these rituals, how they'll square the room out with blood, because blood is used to summon spirits. I believe the soul lies in the blood, so 
we already know blood carries this type of, you know, I'm not saying it just carries demonic energy, but it just depends on how this person lived and what happened. That was the scene of a murder, basically. So that is demonic energy being carried in that house. Him standing around that blood, you know, reportedly just a few days before he died. This wasn't long. You know, I, I'm not really sure. This might have been the same. I think it might have been the same day because when you went on his Twitter, this picture was like the day before he died, if I if I um, remember correctly. Blood carries that kind of energy. And most people don't understand that, you know? I don't expect most people to understand it because, you know, he he's sitting there. He think what he doing is cool to get a little bit more credit in the game. But at the end of the day, you know, he didn't he didn't even have to mock the dude that killed him. You just inviting that energy into your life will have it circle back around to you regardless. Even if it wasn't, you know, some kind of get back for the dude that he killed that was robbing him. Because that's the, the crazy thing at the end of the day. He got killed, basically. If we want to assume this was all for, you know, mocking the dude that killed him. If we want to assume that, because I don't think we really know completely why he was killed, basically hours after posting this picture or the next day. It would have came back around regardless. Just because you participating in the energy. When this happens at your house, you're supposed to get away from it not invite that dark energy back into your life which eventually will get a hold of you regardless and like i said it's because people don't really know what they're playing with you know like how they say you playing with fire people don't understand it bro and it's becoming a murder culture that's what it's becoming and it's it's bigger it's bigger than just drill and the music scene. It's becoming that way in general. Like earlier, I heard a story. I think it was here in Georgia. It was like Douglas County, Georgia. Um, and I think it was recent. This one young dude, he just admitted with no problem to shooting a like 19 or 20 year old, you know, young black male in the head and his pregnant girlfriend. Shot both of them in the head. Why? Because he met them to rob them for weed. He admitted it. He said he had no intention on buying the weed. He went there to rob them and he thought he needed to kill both of them. And didn't even really get that much weed. But that's just what it was. He admitted it like openly. It wasn't, he didn't try to hide it. It just, he just did it. He was young himself. But that's what this is now. It's a murder culture. That energy, this this kind of shit right here, standing on blood, doing all this shit, this is what's swarming the world. This is what is engulfing the world. This kind of energy, and it's being done on purpose. This is really that antichrist energy right here. This is the kind of shit that will flip this entire world. It's evil. It's dark. It's demonic. And at the end of the day, you need to stay far away from it. Anybody you know, hang around the, into gangs, into anything, bro. Completely keep yourself away from it. You know, damn near, damn near tired of seeing shit on the internet that has to do with this. Because it's, it's taking over and it's really starting with the internet. And then it gets into your real life. Or it's in your mind. You know, like I, I've said it before, you become interested in this kind of shit. And all you looking at is things of people dying, reading, you know, looking at stories of people getting shot and killed and this and that. It's because that's that's just the energy that's here. Not even fighting no more. Ain't nobody fighting no more. They're just shooting, bro. Just shooting people. Some of the most evil shit I could possibly think of. But anyways, y'all, I ain't gonna keep it going too long on this video. Like I said, I wanted to do this video a few days ago just to talk about it, you know. Um, you know, just to, honestly, just to talk about what's really going on in the industry and just in life in general. 
But anyways, man, y'all let me know what's going on in the comments. Y'all already know I'm working on a, um, another edited video for y'all soon. A lot of people been asking me to do Pop Smoke. Um, and I never really did like a complete video on him. So I'm thinking maybe I'll go ahead and get that knocked out of the way. Because I, I like to try to get y'all requests done, you know, um, in a timely manner. So um, if y'all want me to do that video and, and anything else y'all got you know just let me know in the comments and um y'all already know we're gonna get to working on it so with that being said it's black balloon and i'm gonna see y'all soon